Hi everyone, my name is Andy and I'm a manager at Perfect Prime. Today I'd like to introduce you to our range of thermal cameras and to help you understand what you should be looking for when choosing a thermal camera. First question is, why use a thermal camera? A thermal camera enables you to see thermal energy from any source which you wouldn't be able to detect with the naked eye. Being able to see the thermal energy allows you to inspect if there are any anomalies such as cold spots in your home insulation, spikes in temperatures, in electric circuits or leaks in water systems through floorboards. Being able to inspect these potential issues without physically breaching parts of the house not only saves money but also time for both inspectors and customers. So the question is, why use a thermal camera? A thermal camera enables you to detect thermal anomalies which you wouldn't be able to with the naked eye. Being able to detect these thermal anomalies enables you to check for temperature spikes in HVAC systems or potentially leaks in the water system through floorboards. Now, the benefits of this is you wouldn't have to breach through the floorboards or the HVAC systems by using a thermal camera. This not only saves time, but money for both the inspector and customer. So next up, we're going to discuss what you need to look for when purchasing a thermal camera. Some of these include the thermal resolution, the thermal sensitivity, accuracy, and other features such as Wi-Fi, image overlay, or whether it has radiometric data or not. We're not going to go over that in too much detail in this video because we've got a guidebook made for this. So please head over to our website and download the free guidebook. The link will be in the description below. So one of the points you might want to consider when buying a thermal camera is the portability of it. Um, one option you can choose is to buy a thermal camera for your mobile phone device. Um, what I'm going to do next is introduce to you one of the thermal cameras for mobile phones from the Perfect Prime range and several from the Seek range. So starting up with the Perfect Prime IR0102 thermal camera for Android mobile phone devices. It's this little fella right here. This is the packaging it comes in. Opening it up, you're going to get a converter from USB Type-C to micro USB. And then you've got in here the thermal camera itself. So this is the perfect prime thermal camera for Android mobile devices. And we believe this is the perfect product for entry-level users who want to get a feel for how thermal cameras work and the ease of use of connecting it to your Android mobile phone device. Some of the features that this has is Thermal resolution of 32 by 32, it's got 9 hertz, temperature range of minus 4 to 572 Fahrenheit, it doesn't require battery, and it does have video capabilities as shown on the screen here. Next up, we've got the Seek thermal cameras. We're going to start with the Seek Compact. So once opened up, the Seek thermal cameras come with a waterproof case, as shown here, and the thermal camera shown here. So with the Seek thermal camera range, we believe these are being designed for the more experienced users of thermal cameras. And um, part of the reason is if you look at the specs, it's got a much higher thermal sensor compared to the IR0102 at 206 by 156. They're both at 9 hertz. Uh, the temperature range for this goes from minus 40 to plus 626 Fahrenheit. Uh, some of the other features that are similar are photo taking, videos, and it's also got nine color palettes as well as auto emissivity. There are actually two other thermal cameras from the Seek range that are exactly the same in visually as this thermal camera, but inside the thermal sensors are greater and the field of view are stronger too. Okay, now I want to show you how to use the apps and the thermal images. We're going to start off with the Perfect Prime IR0102 and the app we're going to be using is the IR Thermal app. It's available on the Play Store, on the Google, on the App Store and they're free to download. Start off with, take the thermal camera, plug it into the device Okay, so once you've got the thermal camera plugged in, I've got ourselves a cup of hot water. Um, you can see the thermal camera is looking at it in such a view. The button at the top left here can change the viewpoint from left to right, right to left, whichever suits you best. On the bottom here, we've got the media gallery. Next to that, we've got the take a photo. And next to take a photo, we've got the video recording function. Now, the one we're interested in today is this one here, which gives thermal imaging. Once you click on here, you can see the thermal image of the cup. 
at which is shown as around 55 degrees Celsius on the surface. Now once you've entered this mode you've got a couple of different options here. You can click at the top here to change the color palettes. In total there's 13 different color palettes at the top here. The purpose of having these different color palettes is so that you'll be using a thermal camera on different objects, on different materials and we found that changing the color for for different applications may help you see the thermal differences in the objects more clearly. Now, this button not only changes it to thermal image, but you can change it in this way where it's like a thermal overlay, so you can see the visible image behind and the thermal image on top. Yep. So in conclusion, it's a very basic thermal imager. We have aimed this at entry-level users it has all the basic functions for a thermal camera. It's got photos, it's got videos, it's got a very low price point. And if you're interested in using thermal cameras or getting to know more about them, we really suggest this product. So now we're gonna show you the Seek Thermal app. Uh, you wanna download this from the App Store or the Play Store. Going into here, you just want to start it up, plug the thermal camera in, and allow it to access your phone. I want to introduce to you some of the features on the app. This one here is the home screen. Next one along is your media gallery. Going back, you've got the camera. Now I'm going to go over some of the features on the camera for the Seat Compact. Now it's in a normal mode. You can see that it's got a central point showing the temperature, which is about 145 now. The next icon along here will automatically add two dots onto the screen which shows the hottest point on the screen and the coldest point. The next icon along will remove all points and you've just got the thermal image. The last one on the screen will show the scale in different intervals and if we head right back to the start we've got half thermal and half visible. The next feature on the Seek Thermal Camera app is to go down here and you can see we've got different color palettes, nine in total. The first one, the default one that we have is Spectra. Next one along is Prism, Tarion, Iron, and basically the whole purpose of the different color palettes is that you may have different applications, different materials, and you can view the thermal images more clear in a different color palette. Well, that's it for the Thermal Camera series. I've just finished with the Seek Thermal Camera. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you guys can like and subscribe to our videos.